Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial in the Cocos 2 DX C++ physics series and in this part we're going to be looking at adding a rectangular sprite physics body. We'll be using the source code from the third part of this series. If you haven't done it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code and we'll let's just go ahead and open up our project. So what we're going to do is just create a sprite. So I'll just quickly talk about sprite physics body. We will look at creating a rectangular sprite physics body for a sprite and adding it to the sprite. It's that simple. If you've done the previous tutorial, we created a circular sprite, uh, physics body very similar to that. So you can modify that code if you want, but I'll be doing it from scratch. So what you want to do is create a sprite. You might already have one created. Close normal.png sprite set position and in here we're just going to center the sprite on the screen so we're going to do visible size dot width divide by 2 plus origin dot x visible size dot height divide by 2 plus origin dot y and the next thing we're going to do is create a sprite physics body, so we're going to call it sprite body. We're going to do equal physics body colon colon create instead of create circle, we're going to create box and we just specify the size. An easy way to do this is to do sprite get content size, and we're also going to specify the material. You don't have to, but we are going to. Material, I'm just going to set it to 0, 1, and 0. We covered physics material earlier on in this series. So we're going to sprite set physics body, and we're going to set the sprite body that we just created right here to the physics body of the sprite. And now we're just going to add this sprite the child to the layer and now if we run this we will get a sprite that's centered because gravity is enabled we'll disable it in a moment but because gravity is enabled it will fall and it will collide in a rectangular manner and you can see there are four sides to it even though our image is only circle it just Bases it on the canvas size. Later on in this series, we'll be looking at how to create custom sprite physics bodies because obviously you may not want a circular one or a rectangular one, and the need probably will arise, especially if you have um, characters and whatnot basically non primitive shapes in your game, you will want custom bodies. But we'll cover that later on in this series. Let's just, just disable gravity so you can just see static, so theme get physics world set gravity and we're going to do back to I believe you can use that as well zero zero and now if we run this and now we have a square sprite that's just centered and what we're going to do is also disable this for a moment right there or comment it out and basically it will prevent all the debug drawing so it just looks like a regular image now that's centered without the edge node but the edge node is there actually a great way to illustrate that the edge node is there is to make sure gravity is enabled run it without the debug draw all and you can see stuff colliding about there you go it's bouncing and that is it. I will re-enable this. And that is it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at static objects versus dynamic objects. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.